Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that footage of thrifting OC Goodwill. As I mentioned in my previous video, I am ready to give OC Goodwill a second chance now. I think I was just being negative because obviously I missed my honey hole. I missed my honey holes in LA County Goodwill Network. So I think treasure is out there. You just have to go out and look for it. So I think I just got overwhelmed with like the stores that are local to me now are, well, a little unorganized. I mean, there's two in my vicinity. One of them is pretty organized. The second one is very, it's like, it, they just have a lot of stuff and they have a lot of Target stuff, which is fine because like you can find like laundry detergent and I mean a lot of like the Target brand items are okay I mean I'd rather buy it there for half off than at Target anyway but they just have a lot of stuff I am loving this process of dropping a collection each week because it's really keeping me focused right so this week I only went through the shoe aisle and I was only looking for shoes so it kept me focused and I'm also being more picky, being more selective. So I did put a lot of the shoes back and I only walked out with one pair of shoes. So let me show you what I found was this pair of new with tags. I think Joa is how you pronounce this brand. Joa. Joa. Anyway, you guys know the brand J-O-I-E Joa. These were $9.99, but they are brand new with tags. I've seen a few listed and comps are around $40, $60. So if I can get that, I would be happy with that. So this is the first pair of shoes that I got. Did I get? Oh, so I went to a different thrift store. It's like a veteran's thrift store. I don't remember what the actual name of the store is because the sign just says thrift store. But I can tell that it's one of those veteran thrift stores just from the tags that they write because they're like the handwritten stapled ones. But again, I was only going through shoes and I found some really good men's shoes. These immediately caught my eye because they're like a Vans collaboration with in and out So whenever I see Vans collaborations, I, I automatically look into them because I feel like they sell faster because people are looking for them look at how clean they are they're clean they look unworn they look new so these were $14.99 which is a little higher but the comps the white ones are the ones that are really selling high like they're around $75 because they look like the in and out cups this is the same print but they're in black so they're not um the comps aren't as high but I saw between $40 and $50 so since they're in really good condition, I'm aiming for that. This next pair of shoes I took a gamble on, but I had a good gut feeling and I'm going with my gut. I'm trusting my gut and I'm having some audacity as I list because I always see other sellers and I'm like, how do they get so much? They get their full asking price and I feel like it's because they have the audacity to list it as high as they think they can and they get it and you know what and they do the research and they do the comps so you know what i'm having the audacity of listing them high but also doing the research right so another vans collaboration these high top van sneakers these are a collaboration with it's john van hammersfeld i don't know if i'm saying that about john van hammersfeld so i don't know who he is off the top of my head did a Google image search lens. He is a graphic designer from the like 70s, late 60s, 70s. He did a lot of the artwork for the Beatles, for the Rolling Stones. So this is the logo, the signature here, and then on the inside, no, on the soles, there is this other graphic that says crazy world ain't it so yeah i did a google image search brand new pair of them is on StockX right now for like 750 dollars and most of the sold comps that i found like on ebay and everything 300 dollars 350 in that range so 
these were not cheap. Oh, is what they have. And I thought these were $10.99. Turns out they were $109.99. So when I went to check out, he's like, oh, these are $109. But they're color of the tag, so they're 50% off. Um, they came out to $54.99. So I was like, okay. <laughs> um, and I did think about it. I'm like, um, you know what? I'll take them because I used the money that I found. I had those $250 in my pocket from the money that i found thrifting a couple of weeks ago i'll put that video up in the in the link if you want to see how i found 250 dollars. so i was like you know what i'm gonna gamble these 54 dollars because i mean it's technically not coming out of my pocket because it's found money and i really think that i can turn a profit on these even with the 54 dollar investment so Definitely going to clean them up and take really nice photographs and turn these into some profit. So then like two videos ago, I also showed you some footage of me going into a Savers and I found some Doc Martens. They're in kind of bad shape. Honestly, I feel like Docs can be easily cleaned, but they are very dirty. They really need to be cleaned up. They were $8.99 which was kind of surprising because I found some other boots by the brand. They're like a goth brand. What is it? Demonia? Demonia. They wanted $60 for those shoes. So I was like kind of turned off by their shoe prices. I was like, I'm not gonna find anything good here. And then like literally two rows down, I saw these Doc Martens. I immediately was like, they're gonna want like $50 for them. So I was super surprised they were $8.99. You see it? $8.99. And I had $3 off of a $10 purchase coupon. So I ended up paying $7 because I bought another little purse. So yeah, I obviously have to invest some elbow grease into these and get them cleaned up. But I can easily turn a profit on these Doc Martens. I knew I had a pair of Doc Martens waiting that I stashed over at my parents' house. And I went to go pick them up and there's this maroon pair of Doc Martens. I didn't realize how much discoloration they had. So I don't think I'll get much for them. I mean, I'll be able to turn a profit. I paid $12.99 for these. And they are a smaller shoe size. I mean, they're a women's size 5. So I don't know, maybe bad buy. But we'll see how much we can get and then i have shown you these shoes in the past and i still haven't listed them but i am like i love this challenge as well because it's forcing me to get these listings up by the time i get the video up so this white pair of oxfords they have like this glitter this iridescent glitter but they have a lot of creasing so these will be an as is condition sale. I mean, they're clean and I feel like there's someone out there who will want these that doesn't care and be like, I don't care if I get them pre-owned for 30 bucks. So I'm gonna list those. Oh, I forgot I have two more over here. So these are those green Ferragamos that I got at my parents' house too when they were cleaning out the garage. They're just leather slides, mules. They do have some wear here on the toes. On the very tip of the toes so i don't know how much i'll get for these but they're for gomos so at least 40 50 dollars and these are all profits then i have these pair of paul green booties brand new suede leather booties excellent condition also found these in my parents garage so my mom probably bought them and just never wore them so these will be going up as well. I can't find the size. Oh, there are five and a half. So these are actually really small as well. So that's it for today. It is Super Bowl Sunday. We're going to a Super Bowl party um, at my boyfriend's brother's house. He literally lives like three blocks away from us. It's potluck style. So we're bringing some mac and cheese and some wings. We'll watch the show there. 
and I do have to work at Disney today. So luckily, since we're only three blocks away, we can come back and I can change. Hopefully <laughs> the game doesn't last too long and then I'll go to work at 9 30 it's a closing shift so i'm there late it is what it is so that's it for today tomorrow i'll probably show you some footage of me coming with you photographing and getting Tuesday but since I upload on Wednesdays the end of my vlogging week is on Tuesday and I am so behind I still need to clean all of these shoes and photographs so I might not get them all up in time and I still need to clean and photograph everything so we're gonna start I'm gonna go over some tools that I bought these are all on Amazon um, and they're just tools that I need in general for shoes anyway so I went ahead and bought them I got this little pack of brushes $9.99 um it includes it's four different horsehair brushes one of them is for shining one of them is for buffing and one of them at, to actually leather with um the saddle soap so I got a little tin of saddle soap this was six dollars um, removes dirt grime on all leather types so this will come in handy not just with shoes but with purses and any other leather items that I want to clean and then I also got some conditioning oil to condition leather so if I ever find anything even like belts I've actually I think I have a belt somewhere that needs conditioning or even my purses so it nourishes, waterproofs, and smooths the letter. This is by the brand Kiwi. Kiwi is just a very good brand you can find anywhere. You can find it like at CVS, Target, Walmart, and they're very inexpensive. I ordered it on Amazon, so it's probably more expensive there. These probably cost like $4, five tops in a store. And then I also have just like toothbrushes and a little rag to clean the soles of the tennis shoes. So I'm just gonna go over them with some white Dawn dish soap and get anything. They're actually pretty clean. They don't need much. Just a little wipe down so I can get everything cleaned and photographed. The corn lady. I had to stop for a snack. I got some corn from our corn lady. We have an elementary school down the street, so this lady always walks by during the week on weekdays well only like tuesdays and wednesdays and she sells corn chips um like icy raspados she's super sweet so i've been craving some for a while but she only comes like she comes at random times like sometimes she'll come at 1 30 sometimes 3 sometimes 3 30 and sometimes she doesn't pass by so sorry, I'm stopping for a snack break. Snack time is over. Let's hurry up and clean these shoes. So I think next week I'm just gonna pull 10 random items that I have in my overstock, either from the closet or I think I have another bag in the garage that I also need to go through. I'm gonna start spring cleaning and starting to separate items for donation and items for resale to my local buy sell trade shop like Buffalo Exchange. <laughs> 